Sony announces its Morpheus VR headset will ship in 2016. The PlayStation maker shows off its latest headset prototype at the Game Developers Conference, saying it's close to the final consumer product. Sony trotted out a new prototype of its virtual reality headset, codenamed Project Morpheus, bringing it a step closer to final release, which the company says will be early next year. The new device, unveiled at the Game Developers Conference here, looks similar to the initial prototype, but Sony says it includes technical improvements that will give consumers a better experience. This looks like last year's model, but under the hood we've put a lot of improvements, said Shuhei Yoshida, the president of Sony's worldwide studios for Sony Computer Entertainment. Yoshida added that this version of Morpheus is close to the final consumer product. Some of the improvements include a new 5.7-inch display that is twice as fast as its predecessor, yet responds to movement in half the time. The end result is what Yoshida says is a device that produces virtual reality experiences that are not easy to differentiate from the real world. The device also contains a new design, including an ability to push Morpheus off to the right side of your face to peer into the real world, rather than taking the entire headset off. The device, Sony said, will be made available to customers early next year, though the company didn't say how much it will cost. At last year's GDC, Sony unveiled Morpheus, then the first virtual reality device from one of the industry's largest game makers. Until then, VR looked like a niche, dominated by promising startups but still a sideshow to the $77 billion game industry, which focuses on titles largely played on televisions and computer monitors. With Sony's device, virtual reality became a star of the show. Shortly after, Facebook bought industry poster child Oculus VR for $2.3 billion. That acquisition signaled to tech companies everywhere that VR wasn't going to lose its sheen after sucking up millions of dollars in investment, as it did in the early 90s before fading back into science fiction. Because Facebook is behind it, I think people will keep plugging away unit they get it right, said Michael Pachter, an analyst at Wedbush Securities. A whirlwind of activity has followed since the Facebook Oculus deal. Mobile giant Samsung has introduced $250 VR goggles that cradle its Galaxy brand of smartphones, and Google has parlayed a strange cardboard DIY headset project into VR partnerships with LG and toymaker Metal. Even Microsoft has some skin in the game, albeit with a so-called augmented reality headset, the HoloLens, which was unveiled in January and can overlay 3D images onto everyday scenes. VR is now a tech and game conference highlight at the year's biggest gatherings and it's practically swallowed the news cycle of GDC, typically thought of as a meeting place for developers to talk design and technique. Even Mobile World Congress, where the world's largest smartphone makers show off devices in Barcelona every year, is a growing showcase for VR. Valve, the software maker known for the Half-Life game series and the Steam online store, teamed up with HTC to create the Vive VR headset, which was unveiled at MWC on Sunday. Valve is expected to reveal more details about its Steam VR platform for VR games tomorrow in San Francisco. While new hardware is rolling out an ever faster clip, the applications for VR, too, are beginning to expand. Beyond games, virtual worlds are finding their place in film, sports, education and even healthcare. It's naive to think this will be games only, Pachter added. Camera maker Jaunt Records 360, degree scenes using a tetrahedral, omnidirectional microphone. The result is a sometimes terrifyingly realistic experience, as was the case with Black Mass, a short film from Paranormal Activity 5 director Greg Plotkin that Jaunt used to showcase its new audio partnership with Dolby earlier this week. Oculus, too is getting involved in film with Story Studio, its dedicated in-house production studio that brought its first VR short to the Sundance Film Festival in January.